Hello friends, uh, my name is Pradeep. I'm working as a senior integration architect and years of certified architect. So in this session, we are going to discuss about the single sign-on OIDC Okta to any point platform. It means how to connect Okta OIDC as an identity provider in order to access the any point platform, right? So I'll I'll explain you uh, on live. Okay, so how to create uh, OIDC with uh, Okta configurations and how to configure with any point platform in order to access. So we are going to discuss the three topics. Uh, first is introduction to identity management and the steps to configure uh, in Okta. Like we need to set up the application and authorization servers configurations in Okta for SS4. And third will be the configuration with any point platform in. Fourth, how to test the SS4 in order to access the any point platform. And fifth, we'll, we'll conclude what we have achieved till now. Okay, so uh, let me jump on to the live video how to configure that. So the prerequisites for, uh, means for prerequisites for this session is to have an Okta account. Uh, either it is a trial account, all right. So, and any point platform account, right. So I'll explain you how to configure with Okta first, and then we'll jump onto any point platform. So go to the browser and click on Okta login. I've already uh, created an account in Okta, so I'm able to log in with my credentials. If you want to create a new one, you can sign up and you can access with your credential. So click on sign in. So, so once we logged into Okta, right? So just select your apps. Right? So what what we need to configure? Right? So since I'm an admin account, I'm able to log into admin. So if you sign up a new account, you can act as an admin. So the first step is to create an application. Okay. So Go to the applications. If you see, I've already created some applications. Let me delete this. And I will, I will explain you from start. Click on add application and select the web. Click next. Are you provide uh, whatever the name, like for example, I am providing the any point platform access. Okay, so the base URI and redirect URI, you can get it from the any point platform. Okay, so I can edit that later. So just click on done. So it is very important to note the client ID in secret. Okay, so uh, open a notepad um, and just copy the client ID and client secret. Okay, so set the authorization code enable and required constants as enable. Okay, that's it. We have already means we have created uh, the application now. Now the next step is to create an authorization server. Okay, so for creating an authorization server, go to the API and then click on the authorization server. So by default, we'll have one authorization server. Okay, so 
if you want to create your own authorization server there are some steps uh, in order to follow right so i will explain you that so before to that just create a token okay so uh, go to the tokens okay and create a token just give some name i have created the name called mulesoft so it creates a token just copy this token as well and keep it in your notepad okay so all these configurations will be helpful while we configure uh, idp in any point platform okay so what we have done till now so we have created an application okay and then we have created a token and now we are going to create an authorization server so either we can use a default one okay so if you click on default one uh, so if you go to this metadata uri you can have the issuer authorization token uri and so all these details will be available here and you can configure with that so i will explain you with the default metadata uri first so okay so we have done with the opta so we have created an application we have created a token and then authorization server we are using a default authorization server right now okay so now go to the anypoint platform so log in with your account go to the access management click on identity providers So I have already configured the OpenID Connect, right? So if you want to delete and start from start freshly, so just uh, delete the existing one. Okay. So it will show like this. Okay. So it 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 gives two options for us. Okay. One is SAML Connect and SAML and OpenID Connect. So we are configuring with open id connect so click on open id right so if you click on use manual registration you will get the redirect url okay so just copy this uh, go to go back to opta uh, because while creating an application we have created with the default uh, uri over there right Re default redirect uri so we need to configure the any point redirect uri so Click on the applications. So this is the application which we have created, right? So go to edit. So redirect URI just place over here and login, logout redirect will be the same. And initial login, just remove the redirect. Okay, and click on save. right so now since we are configuring with the default authorization server go to the authorization server click on default open the metadata uri so it will provide you the issuer endpoint authorization right uh, all the details which is required for our any point configurations so here we need to provide the client id right so we have copied that earlier so just copy and paste the client id over here and then the secret and issuer right so issuer you can get it from the metadata URI. so this is your issuer and authorization url so authorization is nothing but this one and token will be the same okay so 
and user info url will be the same just remove and put it as user info okay so these details you can get it from here okay so this is the token right so user info will be somewhere here okay so only these details we need to configure and just create so that's it we have configured the open id at any point platform and as well so now <coughs> just log out and provide the redirect URI what we, what we configured there. So this is my redirect URI. Right. So, so it it directly gone to the account. Okay. So to the user account because we have already logged into Okta. So let us check by signing out all the all the accounts. So I'm signing out from any point platform and the authorization server. This is the Okta. Uh, let's try to access uh, any point platform with the data that you are so it will redirect us to Okta login page so we need to log in with the Okta credentials so once you provide your username and password it will redirect to your any point platform access. So in the next presentation, I will explain you with the custom authorization server instead of default. Okay. So we'll catch up in the next session. Thank you.